guys, I'm your host Carbon Gaming. Welcome back to this week's Adventure Quest video and I'm very excited today because we have the Necromancer class release skills 6 to 9. Okay, so unfortunately I'm still in the middle of Olympics warring right now, so I'm still a uh, fully offensive warrior build, but the Necromancer class is more of a uh, beast mage build which is what I'm current which is what I should be currently running right now so we might not be able to see the full uh, power of the skills um, throughout this video's testing but anyways they are not going to be max level so we are mostly just going to be looking at uh, what the skill does and their effects okay so let's go necromancer skill 6 to 9 <coughs> so I already went through this uh, necromancer quests okay Necromancer training a potential outgoing threat or ongoing threat to the neutrality of the Orcus archive has been identified. Through the reports issued by the Circle, the Liminal Mantle has been informed of the following disruption of our peace accords. Evidence suggests that the Shadow Ritualist known as Rune Eater has compromised the peace within our horse by provoking conflict within the archive. Okay, so all of these uh quests are uh, don't really have any backstory to them, it's mostly just uh the simple quest that you need to do to level things up. Okay, the ones that really have the story will be quests 5, 10, 15, and 20. It's in multiples of 5, okay? So I don't think we'll see any big story quests this time round. Ooh. Very loud thunder and lightning here going on. It's a rainy morning, but you know, I'm up early to give you guys the coverage of the very exciting uh necromancer class release okay so overdrive onslaught and they did say that leech is going to be its own release the leech form okay which is the form that you go into the moment your character dies if i'm not wrong at least that was what happened uh for the last for the previous necromancer so i'm assuming that this time around is probably going to be the same thing okay at least for that mechanic whereby you can transform into leech form i'm assuming it only happen after you die and because it's so big it's going to be their own little release okay so do so we are not going to be seeing it this week and i think it should come with skill 10 so this week we only have skill 6 to 9 so we don't have the leech form just yet also for those of you guys who were wondering i know some of you guys posted on the forums some of you guys uh, were commenting on some of my other videos asking why was Adventure Quest down yesterday for uh, you guys and I also experienced the same problem as well as a bunch of other people basically everyone experienced the same problem as long as you were not locked out during that period as long as you were locked in during that period you will not be kicked out okay according to some people but I was worrying halfway I got kicked out I don't know maybe it's different from uh, for some people okay but yeah, they were updating their servers or something and so the balance system got stuck at loading and only got fixed uh, a few hours later. So it was down for about like 4 to 5 hours yesterday. Yeah, okay, around 4 hours I think. And it is not uh, the fault of your own. It is on the server side. It is the server side's problem. So it's, it has got nothing to do with you. You don't really need to do anything, okay? If you're still experiencing the problem, I advise you to go ahead and clear your cache. Okay, for those using NRVP's unofficial launcher, that will be Control plus F4, okay? Or is it F5? I, I can't remember, but yeah, either, either one, just go ahead and try. Okay, I think it's Control plus F4 to refresh your, to clear your cache and also to uh, refresh the entire game. For those on the Arctic launcher, that will be uh, just clearing your cache in the Arctic launcher. It's on the bottom left hand corner before on the home page of the Arctic launcher. Okay, so yeah, those are the two methods that you can use to clear your cache, whether you're playing on NRVP's launcher or the Arctic launcher. Okay, preparations. Beware, your mark is protected by a trap or has turned the focus point into a battleground that favors them. Unless you do something about it, the flowing effect will be in place. Your mark will have an initiative boost. So this is the same as what we saw previously. Okay, so one is seize power, the other one is dispel. Uh, let's try and seize power. Hmm. Status potence, prismatic burn, days, weak burn. Let's try with the strong burn. Okay, 79 endurance. Okay, this will be hard. Nope, we don't get it. That's okay. You could not seize your foe's power. Let's see what happens if you fail the stat roll. Initiative bonus plus 500. Okay, this enemy is power contaminated by reckless use of collapsed shadow power. Yeah, wow, plus 500, so I don't think... 
Can you overcome that with a max luck stat with both the potion and the armor initiative boost? Hmm. I wonder if you can overcome that. I am not sure what the exact numbers are, but I think it will probably be close. Yeah. Anyways, they are not max level, so they shouldn't be too difficult for most of my viewers. Most of my viewers are usually max level already or are end game players. Of course, there are those. Uh, there are some of you which are not max level yet, but level eighty something. I think most people shouldn't have any trouble with them. Okay, let's continue. <coughs> Brilhado Necromancer Ah, these guys. We faced a lot of these guys in our uh, Truthma, uh, not Truthma <laughs> In our Devourer Saga uh, questline that I've been doing Desiccated Corpse Oh, this one can heal, right? Hmm What is the damage so low? Oh, 40% to energy only Oh well, that's okay Miss, nice. Could probably do blood contract and he'll probably be dead, but I was lazy to switch. That's fine. He'll still be dead the next turn. And done. Next up, Fiery Moglin Ghost. Ooh. Uh, this one's probably going to hit pretty hard, but I think we can kill him first. This enemy is a wielder or subject of necromancy power by a pack with sinister spirits from beyond. Wonder what that does, doom pack. There's a lot of flavor effects going on here, but they don't really tell you what they do. I wish they'll say uh, something about what they do. Like, what does doom pack do? Does it boost their damage? Does it boost their uh, BTH or what? Preparations. Okay, fragile. Let's try this again. We'll try with a weak burn this time. Intelligence. Oh, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> okay, we didn't get it. The empty mantle. Yep, it's basically just a random creature slapped on with a different name to fit in context with the quest. Let's continue. Necroniancer. And the reason why you're seeing me at zero goal uh, from the monsters is because I already kept out on my goal for today because I've been doing Olympax warring. Currently very very close. Um, still in second place. I definitely need to buy a token package to reset on one of these days in order to catch up to first place. Yeah, first place is not letting me have it easy. That's for sure. He is capping every single day as well, which is a bit of a bummer. Honestly, did not expect such fierce competition and having a look through first place's stats seems like he is not a warmonger as well he's just going all out for this war and similar to me i have never been a warmonger as well so i i am this war is basically my new record depending on how much i um get oh sometimes it's endurance sometimes it's charisma uh sometimes it's intelligence oh so the stat roll changes sometimes interesting i thought it would always be the same and see this one, uh, direct tenebromancer, power or contaminated by reckless use of shadow power. What what does that mean? Like it's not doom pack anymore, but it seems like it does the same thing. I think. Now we have the soft damage cap. Ah, uh, one of the most annoying effects in the game. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Let's do this so we can extra turn. Hopefully he dies. Does he die? Oh no, very close though. 29 HP. Alright, goodbye to you. Done. Level 8. Okay, the last one before we can finally go and check out the new skills. I will pull up the info subs in a little bit. To see what the new skills are. I'm going to get blood contract for this. Just to make sure. Nice. Got. Ooh. Do we get the drop on this guy? Or will he get the drop on us? Oh nice. We got the drop on him. Okay. Very nice. Hydra. Oh this should be easy. Another battle troll. Okay, this one I want to use blood contract because they have slightly higher HP. I want to make sure they die. Nice. 
Oh, we finally passed the road. Wow, that was lucky. I mean, it doesn't really matter if you pass the road or not. The the effects they for an under level monster with these effects, they are still not a big threat. So you guys don't have to worry too much about that. And done. Level nine necromancer. All right, let's go ahead and check out the class skills. Give me a moment while I pull up the info subs, the unofficial ones. Okay, at the time of this recording, I don't think the official subs are out yet, so I'm going to be using the unofficial info subs on the God's Heaven Discord. If you guys would like to join the Discord, the link is already up on the screen. Okay, where you can interact with a lot of other like-minded players and the AQ staff as well. And of course, I am sometimes in there to have a little chat. Okay, so Necromancer Cloak. Let's see what we have. I'll take away all of the boosters. Take away the shield as well. Take away Dunamis and obviously I want to not use this because I don't want power word die to prop again. Okay, so first off, uh, level 6 skill. We have Wraith Work. You have learned to use your stock anima to empower Ethereal Undead Allies and can experiment with Constructs Rot from it. Okay, so we have a Ghost, Summon Ghost Ally here. Uh, six between Ice and Energy. And you can click it to toggle auto hit mode. Auto hit mode, it deals 0 0.65 times damage to pay for the auto hit. It gets plus 50% damage, but also causes times 1.5 times upkeep. Okay. So, ghostly heroes with unfinished quests have gladly made a pact with you to fulfill them. They can seek between ice and energy as well as sacrifice damage plus mana to never miss. Okay. Uh huh. I have to be very honest. I am not a fan of this artwork. What? What is this? Come on. We waited so long to get this. Really? <laughs> Man, okay. The, the, the artwork for this is a little disappointing. Not gonna lie. Like, for real. You've seen what they can do with Paladin. I, I know uh, there's a little bit of a trade-off between having some really nice artwork and making the thing lag. At like 5 frames per second, I'm talking about the freaking uh, manifestation gas from Paladin. But come on, man, they can do better than this. What? What is this? Oh my gosh. The effect is pretty good though, but uh, unfortunately, I'm just not feeling it for the artwork. Okay, so it's supposed to seek. Oh, also, it's currently bugged right now. Okay, it's supposed to seek between ice and energy, but right now it's seeking between ice and wind. So, yeah, that's a little weird. Um, I am not sure why it's energy. I think wind will make a lot more sense. So I sort of prefer they keep it law wise like ghosts. All the ghost monsters in this game are wind element, right? So why would it be doing energy instead? So I think it makes a little more sense for it to keep the wind element. I'm not sure if wind or energy is a better element inside of this game uh, with regards to the monsters we face. But I think wind will make more sense law wise. Okay, so let's click on this. Click your guest to have your guest go all out, requiring more MP by bypassing your foe's defenses. So obviously we don't have enough MP. Let me go and restore. I wonder if having zero intelligence will give you enough MP to upkeep this thing. Let's see. Uh, your guest unleashes a bone chilling heart and attacks will now auto hit. Okay, so it deals lesser damage. Yeah, okay. The damage is not fantastic, that's for sure. I mean, it's auto hit. So it's good for monsters with like super high uh, MRM and this is the first guess in the game I think to have an auto hit ability. So I guess it's quite nice filling in a niche that was never there. Really good for Beastmasters. I like the effects but I definitely don't like the artwork. Now let's continue looking through the next ones. Uh, what do we have here? Ancestral Wraith. Fallen warrior from ancient times, saved from madness by a necromantic empowerment. They can make focus, paralyzing strikes, or go all out for wind damage. Now, nice. so this is not yet available, but we can read through what they'll do first. Okay, so this one looks like uh, it can either do regular damage or you can do use an attack that can paralyze your foe. Oh, okay, so or Wait, no, you can use an attack that can paralyze your foe or you can, you know, uh, do more damage, I think. Get a damage boost. Okay, I, I quite like that. And the last one, uh, this one is Anima Manifestation. Your very own Wraith working experiment based on Lost Arts of Lichdom. This ghost-like manifestation of your life force can hit with fire or synchronize with your powers to deal more harm damage 
the more necromancer conditions affect your foe. Oh, nice. So, uh, from what it's saying, it looks like it can either do harm damage or it can it can either do fire damage. <laughs> Fire and harm, I said farm, oh my gosh, okay. So it can look, looks like it can either deal fire damage or uh, depending on how many effects it has on your foe, it can deal harm damage. Ooh, wow, this is this is really cool. Definitely have not seen something like that before. And a harm damaging gas. Is that the first one in the game as well? I can't remember if you have a harm damaging gas, but wow, that is uh, really good. I'm a big fan of the effects, but the artwork definitely needs some improvement in my opinion. Uh, next up. Level 7, what do we have here? Absorb Hexus. Absorb Hexus. This one, wait, this is level, oh, this is level 9, okay. Aggravated wounds and magical curses are part of your domain. The link between spiritual energy and overcoming harm has taught you to exploit that bond, healing you per removed effect. Wait, wait, how, how much was that? Whoops, okay, let me just call away the guest first because we don't have the MP to upkeep it. Uh, let's see. Okay, absorb hexes. Healing spell uses intelligence. Oh, we have zero intelligence. Okay, zero point eight five times damage as per usual. If you have at least one of the following statuses active on yourself with at least one turn remaining, then you kill yourself and remove those statuses: bleed, burn, choke, fear, panic, poison, spiritual seed. Oh, so it looks like there is no safe or whatever. You just automatically cure it. Wow, that is actually really good. <clears throat> If you have at least one of the mentioned statuses active on yourself with at least one turn remaining, then the healing does, uh, it heals more basically. Where well, X is the number of statuses that are active. Okay, plus 12.5 times X minus 100% damage. Okay, let's say you have one status active. Oh, okay, wait. No, it does lesser healing, not more. Yeah, it does lesser healing, not more. Unless you have like 10 statuses or something. How many statuses do you need in order for it to heal more? Like 9 or 8 or something like that. But anything lesser than that, uh, you're going to heal lesser? If I'm reading the math correctly. Okay, that, that makes sense. You have now the mention statuses with at least 1 turn remaining. Then the healing does minus 62.5% damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's plus 12.5 times X, where X is the number of statuses, minus 100% damage. So, let's say if you only have two statuses active, then you're still dealing what? The healing does minus 75% damage? Huh? Okay, this formula is very weird. Okay, keep in mind this is the unofficial info sub, so I'm not sure if this is entirely accurate. And I'm not sure if what I am currently reading... And I'm not sure if I'm currently understanding this right because I really don't do a lot of math on AQ. Okay, 53, no statuses, no intellect. So that's a very weak spell. But keep in mind, this is not max level. And on top of that, I do not have any intellect. So, okay, I like that it cures statuses. It's more of a curing spell rather than a healing spell. I don't expect the healing to be strong. But the curing and the fact that it's an auto-cure makes this really good. Okay, it doesn't cure... Days and stuns, however, unless the stun is a fear stun, okay. So yeah, I think it's not bad. It's a pretty good spell. Maybe if you add days and paralyze in here, that'll be even better. Though I think that might make the skill overpowered, okay. And let's see next one. Level eight, necromancer's presence. You gain class thirty intellect and thirty charisma. Wait, hold on. How much did this cost again? Let me see here. It doesn't cost anything. Wait, what? Okay, it just causes a turn. Doesn't cost any SP, doesn't cost any MP. Is this intended? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's even more fantastic. Okay, the fact that it's completely free makes this very good already. Necromancer's presence set drive boost. In uh, sharpen your mind and cut a more imposing presence by shaping your own anima to influence your body. Your arcane skill and bonds with any companions will both benefit. So, what? Is this free? Or does this cost something to upkeep? Let's see here. 843899. I think it causes a little bit to upkeep. Yeah, there's a little bit of an upkeep cost in terms of SP, but it's not a lot. Okay, 30 intellect, 30 charisma. Not the best, but it's definitely better than nothing. I mean, total you're getting 60 stats, which is better than a 50 stat drive. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, last one. Death's resilience. Your spells and curses do more 
then harm your enemy. They give you a hidden sense from your enemies, for your enemies very spirit, bracing you against the attacks of foes afflicted by fear, burning, or bleeding. So it's a passive skill. Uh, I think, okay, the unofficial info sub says that uh, this is currently bugged and only works when your class rank is 11 or higher. Right. If the monster has a burn bleed or fear active on it, you gain plus 6.7 status resistance and minus 3.33% incoming damage for each status. Wow. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Okay, so you can inflict a bunch of status effects on your monster. Then, uh, on the monster, then it makes them harder to inflict their statuses on you. And on top of that, you also take lesser damage. Okay, 3.33% for each status is not a lot. But if you can stack like 3 to 4 statuses on the monster, then uh, you get about 10 plus percent damage reduction. Which still isn't a lot, but it's definitely better than nothing. So, yeah. All in all, I would say I definitely... Okay, let's look at this Death Walker. Uh, we can see, we can read through the skills first to give give an, selves an idea of what they'll do when they are released. A breakthrough in your study of leechdom and manipulation of living animals has allowed you to combine both fields. After gradually storing your animal overflow, you can absorb it all to manifest as an extremely powerful living wraith. Okay, so this is the leech form that they are talking about. Looks like it's going to be a little different. It's no longer going to be when you die, you turn into a leech. It looks like... Uh, once you have enough anima, then you can transform into a living wraith. Okay, they didn't say leech here, so living wraith, that's what you'll be. I hope it's not going to be this, because this is absolute garbage artwork. Okay, and yeah, that's going to do it for this uh, short showcase video. Not much to say. Uh, personally, I really like the effects of the skills. I think they are really, really good. But the artwork, the only one that, uh, this one, not much to say here, just a simple flash healing spell. I'm okay with that, I'm okay with that. But for this one, please change this. What, what in the world is this? This, that does not look scary at all. You're supposed to be a necromancer, a master of the dark arts, and you have this. What is this? Casper the Friendly Ghost? <laughs> God. Okay, anyways, that's it for this showcase video, guys. I do think the staff has done a pretty good job. Overall, I would rate the class skill 6 to 9, uh, 7.5 out of 10. Okay, effects are really good, but, uh, didn't, the, the minus 2.5 points was because of the artwork. Not a big fan of the artwork. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel. If you guys would like to see more such future content, do leave a comment down below on what you think of the skills and the artwork so far. Do you agree or disagree with me? I would like to hear your thoughts and opinions, okay? So till the next time, I'm your host, Carbon Gaming. Peace out.